If you're thinking about moving to Savannah, Georgia, I'm gonna give you seven reasons why you will hate it here. Welcome back to the Georgia Coast Homes channel where we teach you everything you need to know about relocating to the Savannah area. Be sure to stick around for my list of seven reasons why you are not gonna like living here and you're not gonna believe what the number one reason is, so don't miss it. Reason number seven, you hate seafood. Now, I really can't even wrap my head around this one, so I'm not sure we could even be friends if that was the case, because we have amazing seafood here. We have she crab stew. If you've never had she crab stew before, you are missing out. We've got shrimp and grits. We've got the Georgia white shrimp, which is a local delicacy. We've got oysters, we've got crab, we've got all the seafood. And if you're one of those people that just doesn't eat it, at least we got Paula Deen and we got lots of butter. Reason number six, if you have a love affair with your flat iron, girl, I am telling you, put that baby away. It gets so humid here in the summertime, there is no point. I don't know what you're talking about. It's really not that humid here. You can blow dry your hair with a big round brush and use your flat iron and use all your straightening spray. And the minute you go outside when it's 98% humidity, poof, you're gonna look like Rosanna Rosanna Dana. So if you are a naturally curly haired person, you're gonna have to learn to embrace your curls or you're gonna be wearing your hair in a bun for five months of the year. Reason number five, if you hate summer thunderstorms, let me explain to you a little bit about the rain in Savannah. It doesn't drizzle. There is no such thing as a light sprinkling of rain, especially in the summertime. It's either dry or it is a full on downpour where it is raining so hard. If you're driving, people pull over on the side of the road because they can't see, or people will turn on their hazard lights, which you're not supposed to do when you're driving down the freeway but I see it all the time because people are so freaked out about getting plowed into from behind because the rain is coming down so hard that you simply have no visibility. So if you like to sit outside and listen to thunderstorms on the summer day, this is your place. And the good news is it's usually over in like half an hour to 45 minutes, but you will get some serious rainstorms, especially in the summertime here. Reason number four, if you want a gigantic airport where you have to take a train from one terminal to the other, you're not gonna like the Savannah Airport. We have one terminal, and I think it has something like 13 gates. When I show up, if there are 30 people in line for security, I usually go, oh my gosh, there's a big long line. I should have gotten here earlier. I don't think I've ever waited in line for security at the Savannah Airport for more than about 15 minutes. Our Savannah Airport is awesome because there are no lines. It is a small airport. It is called an international airport, but I don't know of any flights out of the country directly from Savannah. I think it has to go to Atlanta and then go out of the country. So if you're used to flying out of Atlanta or O'Hare or LaGuardia or one of these airports where you have to show up hours ahead of time, and by the way, long-term parking costs something like $18 a day, you're probably gonna love the Savannah Airport. Okay, so I, I probably should not have included that on this list because that's a good thing. Ooh, we're getting to the finish line. Reason number three, why you may not like Savannah. If you love paying exorbitant property taxes for your house, man, I talk to people that live up north and I seriously don't know how you people do it. When you're spending $15,000 a year on property taxes, that boggles my mind. Typical property taxes here, 2,000, 3,000, maybe $4,000. Maybe if you have oceanfront property, you're spending like a whopping $6,000 for property taxes. Our property taxes here are extremely reasonable. And you get a lot of house for your money too, which is not a bad thing. Reason number two, you may not like Savannah. If you don't like old houses, 
Down in the historic district, we have buildings that are 100, 200 years old. We have little cobblestone streets. I think it's amazingly charming, but if you don't like Gothic architecture, if you don't like historic Victorian buildings, you're probably not gonna like the way that the downtown Savannah area looks. Luckily, there's plenty of new construction going on on the west side of town, but downtown Savannah probably is not gonna be your thing if you don't like the older buildings. And the number one reason why you may not like living in Savannah is if you like to walk down the street totally anonymously, ain't gonna happen. Every person you pass is gonna wave and say hello to you. I am not gonna lie, it freaked me out. When I moved here from up north, I'd be walking my dog in the neighborhood, every single person would wave and say hello. It was kind of like, I don't know who you people are, can you just let me walk my dog in peace, please? It definitely took some getting used to. Now, of course, it's a way of life. The people in the South are really friendly and they're gonna say hi to you. But if you like your anonymity, it's gonna take some getting used to. You may not like it. However, I encourage you to embrace the life in the South. If you wanna see my list of pros and cons of living in Savannah, you should watch this video next where I tell you the reasons I love it here and a few things that I'm not so crazy about living here. So come join me on this video next.